This is the story of four daring guys from Oxford who decided to escape Christmas in England and descend on unsuspecting refugee children in Croatia. The party are also delivering Christmas presents to Croatian children who bought the F-registered van for £3,000 and the last thing they've been expecting was for it to break down. What's the company name? Rice Phoenix. Rice Phoenix? Yeah. <laughs> well, they're going to Cro Croatia, hopefully. Big question mark. Ian Williams, the chap who sold us the van, was um, is being the police are after him. He's been selling dodgy gear around. And uh, we're going. So things are going on. It's going to happen. And we're. Uh, yeah, we are. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It really is going to happen. We're going to go. We're going to go. So we went. It was Europe car that lent us the lorry and AA Five Star, our hero, that paid for it. After all the delay, we had only two days to reach Split. The Austrian customs were a red tape nightmare. We spent hours and walked for miles inside a large grimy building full of bewildered Croatian truck drivers in order to collect four stamps, in right order of course, for our cargo of teddy bears. In Slovenia we got a real taste of red tape Eastern Bloc style. It was a miracle that we got through with no papers and no bribes. Finally we reached Croatia. Down the so-called Croatian corridor, beautiful inspiring landscapes alternated with sites of ghostly buildings and destroyed villages. We were stunned. People and nature, so much out of step with each other. We arrived in Split just in time. On Christmas Day, two hours before our performance, Dave was doing the electrics, Jig was rehearsing, and Igor, my nephew, was translating my Croatian script into pure Croatian. Living in far off England, I was out of touch, and some Serbian words were still in my vocabulary. Uh, Do you feel a bit nervous? Yeah, I'm a bit nervous. Not just a bit. I'm a lot nervous. I mean, <laughs> I'm performing an act. I really don't know anything how it looks, how it goes. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. <laughs> it was impossible to imagine the plight of the refugee children living in those camps and hotels. All they'd ever had, their home, their toys, and their parents had been ripped away from them. How did they feel? This was Hotel Duilovo, once frequented by rich tourists, now inhabited for an indefinite period by the refugees from Drniš. I had fond memories of the place. The hot summers, the beaches, the dances. Anyway, the Rice Phoenix show began. Some things worked. And then some didn't. Despite all the technical defects, the children loved the show, especially Pepe the magician. And they asked us to come back. We were very disappointed though when our presents, our teddies, were spurned at first. But by calling them Pepe, we managed to get the children interested. It was only two months before Christmas that I had this crazy idea to take a puppet theater down to Croatia. At the time we had no puppets, no theater, no money, nothing. We were elated afterwards. It worked. We made a contact with the children. It was great. Our dream became reality. Puppeteers in the ritual of unloading. Here you see a puppeteer coming out of the van. 
and hid the habitat of the puppeteer, the inside of the metal box which they live in for large amounts of the year. And every now and again come out to perform their puppeteering rituals in small sheds and places around the world and around parts of Croatia where they can be seen this time of year. If you travel around and see them at the right places and the right times, you may be lucky enough to see a show by the legendary puppeteer. We stayed with my sister Mirjana. She works in a bank and her husband is an electrician in a big department store. Between them they have hardly enough money to buy food. People don't visit each other so much here. People don't have money. Do you feel depressed? Yes, so yes. much in fact, so much, in fact yeah. all the time. Yeah. Even, Even when I, I don't, don't think, think I'm depressed, I think I am. Think I am. <laughs> 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 the refugee children live in a limbo, in a vacuum, without the security that we normally take for granted. No homes, no prospects of education, no future. They are surrounded with horror and despair, and they are crying out and reaching for anyone who can offer them a little bit of attention, a little laughter, a toy, anything so that they know they are not forgotten. At breakfast time, John gave his views on Croatian TV. Lots of people um, in flat jackets wandering around and endless pictures of convoys. And then people discussing people in flat jackets, people discussing people in convoys. Christmas Day was continuous priests and news. I wouldn't say come to Croatia for the television because you can get better television elsewhere. That day we went to the Hotel Marianne. It was once luxurious, classy hotel, now in the state of decay. We had two problems here. Firstly, the children were unsupervised. And secondly, introducing the show, we made a big mistake. We mentioned the presents. Soon after we started, we were heckled and told to dish out the presents. And we had things thrown at us through the stage. That was the night when Santa died. Or rather, our idea of playing Santa to the kids. They completely overwhelmed us and tore the presents away from us. It wasn't that the children didn't appreciate the presents. It was more that we were shocked at sensing how destitute and desperate they were. Afterwards, we bought some cheap wine and had a party. It was great to see my sister breaking out of her shell. My other sister, Snežana from Holland, arrived with her boyfriend, Wilbert. She told us what happened to her last summer in Amish. Four, six boys from the front, they were drinking all the night in one cafe, and they didn't want to pay to the, you know, the bill. Did we fight so for this? They just... Presidents uh, of Serbia and Croatia in bed together. shops. Doing machine guns everywhere, you know, and throwing the bananas everywhere, eggs. I, 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 I couldn't sleep that night. What did you think of Yelena? <laughs> you can't film that. Yeah. You can't film this. We entertained the children in 15 more refugee centers. Sad memories are intertwined with happy, even glowing moments. And although the giving of the presents was always a bit of a struggle, we managed to do it in a more orderly fashion. They're nice kids, they're nice kids. <laughs> I didn't rip my clothes off this time. We've still got all our bits left. Out of all the shows, the one in TTTS camp seemed the happiest. We performed in a large, cold room with a handful of broken chairs for furniture. But somehow we managed to create a friendly and warm atmosphere, an oasis of humanity. The old lady there was one of the most enthusiastic viewers in the audience. They told us she went mad after losing her three sons. In 
Hotel Resnik, we were ushered to what they called their new look restaurant. But fortunately, we did not have to perform right there. Also, here was a military base of Yugo Army and they attacked from there because they expect at 2 o'clock that the co-army will be on the lunch here in the restaurant. We, they have lax because they have information that they will attack and no one was here Good. <laughs> and no one was wounded. Good. But our restaurant is completely destroyed. This is Piazza Square here and we have been entertained by Split's Navy Orchestra. It's a New Year's Eve and there is a strange mixture of sobriety and festivity here. Bosnian refugee children in Croatia are guests in an increasingly hostile country. A country whose broken economy has to house and feed some 650,000 refugees. 250,000 of which are Bosnian. A country that was once part of their own. We jumped into 1994 from my other sister's house. We had plenty of wine, but no water at all, and no electricity. All thanks to my sister's friendly neighbor, who had pinched some of the vital installations in the house, and sold them away in Bosnia. He was in a prison as we celebrated. Among the guests was our friend Dane, and her daughter, Jelena. Hello, hello, hello. We all wish you a year full of fun, happiness, health and inspiration. But first of all, no bombs anymore. Let's get your kids in a mountain village somewhere near Split. Where I went from St. Louis down to Missouri, oh, Split City looks so, so pretty you'll see. We kissed many times, wishing each other happy, very happy New Year. And then, then we went to bed. Yeah, staying in bed for peace. <laughs> we stopped the war. <laughs> Hair peace. <laughs> when you go to New Zealand, you're going to miss this part, right? Yeah, yeah. this part especially. I mean, uh -huh. these cliffs are really uh -huh. nicest things I ever saw in Croatia. And um, I really love yeah. them. Why are we are leaving? Uh, a, there's war in Croatia. B, economically, uh, Croatia and we as a family, economically, are really um, uh, how can I say, um, on the background. And uh, politically, um, all nationalism, uh, Croatian nationalism, Serb nationalism, every nationalism, every possible nationalism has got together here. <laughs> <laughs> and um, mm. you, you, uh, people just um, became nuts. Everybody became nuts. I think we are a little bit nuts <laughs> too. Nobody's normal anymore. Yeah. I want to live in a normal world. 
Uh-huh. I want to have a computer. <laughs> and when we went back home, we were convinced that Pepe lives on in the hearts and minds of the children. And that we will be back with richer, better shows, with new ideas, with stronger purpose. Price Phoenix is self-financed, voluntary organization dedicated to entertainment and education of underprivileged children here in Great Britain and abroad, particularly in refugee camps in Croatia. <laughs> Oh, man, no, she died.